and mm-hmm. uh, you know like she motivated me uh, for this whole time like she keep on telling me that uh, you have the capability you can do better so don't go for these companies and wait for a few more time so like mm-hmm. uh the ma- the most important thing was that that uh, she you know like kept on motivating me so that i can wait for some more time and get into a better place now hi everyone i am apripa padinti from team at your job and welcome to today's talk show on today's show we have a really amazing guest with us and his name is jairaj kohel He completed his B.Tech Electrical Engineering in 2022 from Nilma University, Gujarat. He is now placed as an S.D.E. in Love's company with 10 plus L.B.A. He is also an upfront payment student. Welcome onto the show, Jairaj. Hi, Aparupa. Yeah, thank you for this amazing opportunity of the interview. So, first of all, congratulations on your placement. I know it's a really huge deal. Congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. So can you let us know about your background in detail My name is Sheeraj Gohel and basically I belong from uh, Jamnagar which is a city in Gujarat and uh, if I talk about my academics I have like uh, completed my uh, schooling from Air Force School Jamnagar here only and uh, if I talk about like how, how I was in studies so I was like a you know consistent student in 10th I also got uh, 85% in 12th I also got 86% after completing my 12th uh, when we were you know like uh, going for colleges so at that time uh, uh, actually i preferred uh, college over uh, branch so basically uh, my father told me that like nirma will be you know like providing a great uh, environment for stud- uh, studies so basically i uh, dropped the idea of taking cac and uh, joined electrical there so after that uh, during like uh, my Uh, eighth semester uh, or seventh semester when uh, our placement started so then uh, the at that time i also uh, like again realized that i wanted to you know like i was interested in uh, coding and stuff so then i started preparing for uh, coding and all these things so basically uh, i uh, you know like secured one uh, for the safety side i secured one placement in tcs so on mm-hmm. campus but uh, still i was looking for better uh, better opportunities so i decided to join akio job so talking about akio job how did you get to know about akio job was it from college or your friends in which way so like there was one uh, senior who uh, mm-hmm. like he was one year ahead of uh, me so i am 2022 pass out and he was 2021 pass out so mm-hmm. he also did this course and he also really got a good job uh, through akio job so then uh, he recommended to one of my classmates and that classmate recommended it to me so he also knew that i was also interested in coding so like we both were interested in coding so we both joined akio job together so after you joined akio job how was your experience in it like how did you feel the training and everything was so like uh, i knew a little bit of coding in c++ mm-hmm. so then a year we started with java so like uh, if we switch from c++ to java like there is a little bit of uh, syntax uh, change only but the logic and everything remains same so initially like uh, when the training started and we were uh, it started with dsa so like in uh, during initial days i felt like it's very easy because i already knew the things and uh, like uh, i was getting to learn both so mm-hmm. i feel a bit easy but then like uh, when intermediate and advanced dsa started so then i realized that uh, it's like uh, not so easy like uh, how i thought earlier and uh, mm-hmm. basically like uh, the questions provided on the aqo job portal they were also amazing like uh, really helpful because they are you know like one of the most frequently asked questions overall um, my experience was uh, really great at aqo job so what what are your views on the mentoring in aqo job it was very much like my uh, friend to me only uh, he or she was you know like uh, always ready to help me like whenever i faced any difficulty uh, initially i was you know like uh, i uh, i was like just scoring 7 in the mock interview and uh, mm-hmm. you know like she motivated me uh, for this whole time like she keep on telling me that uh, you have the capability you can do better so don't go for this companies and wait for a few more time so like 
the ma- the most important thing was that that uh, she you know like kept on motivating me so that i can wait for some more time and get into a better place man i think a good motivator and a mentor is really needed in this journey so it's a good thing that you had a good experience so uh, we also have a different mock exams uh, in this program um, you said you even took some mock exams and uh, do you think it is really helpful for the students to take good number of mock exams for their actual interviews yeah so like uh, during my first mock interview i was a bit mm-hmm. nervous like uh, what they are going to ask what i will uh, we saying like i was uh, you know like the stage fear sort of thing yeah but uh, i will recommend that uh, a person should you know like give as many mock interviews as he can because like every time i uh, you know gave the mock interview i uh, every time i faced a new problem and then like you know like even if i have given two three mock interview i will give four time i will uh, uh, you know like get some new suggestion for me that where i can improve mm-hmm. and i also you know like kept on making mistakes which actually helped me uh, during my final interviews in the company the more mistakes you make like the more uh, you can get to know that where you are making the mistakes and you can correct it so like uh, uh, like initially i gave the mock interview then they said like uh, uh, usual uh, like i was not able to clear my first uh, basic mock interview then they mm-hmm. told me to practice more then i uh, again uh, uh, practiced and uh, scored well then uh, next time i was not able to you know complete in time like i was very slow at coding so then i improved upon them so like there were many things which i improved upon but uh, basically the more number of more mock interviews you get uh, you give like the more confidence you get so like mm-hmm. that's really helpful so like i would suggest that like a uh, person should give as many mock interviews as he can Thanks That's for that wonderful advice. Um, so I have one last question for you. If you had to give one word for at your job, what would it be? Your experience in whole as a word. Oh, or in one I would say uh, awesome. <laughs> that's that's nice to hear. Okay, so I think we have come to an end for this uh, today's Q and A session. So thank you so much, uh, Jairaj, for being here and you know taking up this uh, talk show. Uh, we really, really hope you have a bright future, and we wish you all the very best for your future. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, and uh, yeah, once again, thank you for this interview. Thank you so much for watching all this while, and let us know what kind of videos you want to see further on this channel in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Act Your Job channel.